Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the finale of Sympathy GX. I mean, oh, okay, I have a really big feeling <laughs> that, of course, the big, big ish, the things that I've been wondering since episodes 1 <laughs> through 10 are all gonna get solved in these last three episodes. These last three episodes are gonna have the biggest cliffhangers, except last week. Last week was like, Oof. <laughs> because I'm like, mm, like, we know they're not dead, but, um, <laughs> honestly, I really don't know how the hell this is going to happen. I mean, I'm still wondering how the hell they're going to stop this cute little adorable lolly of a villain. <laughs> I mean, mm, we all know he he's going to pull something out of her ass. We just got to figure out what it is. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 11 in three two, one, go. Are you serious? That was too easy. I better shave the shit out of my child. I mean, hold up. Mm -mm. I already know she's gonna be okay. Because in the game, she's in the game, so she's fine. She's gonna be in later seasons, so she's okay. But just save my child, because this is Nina from Idol Master. This is What's Her Face from Kids Niver. Oh, this is freaking Hawk. <laughs> From Seven Deadly Sins, the pig, the best character in the damn show. Do not watch season three. I'm just saying right now. Please don't. I'm probably not even going to watch season three myself when it comes on Netflix. Hell, I might even be stupid when it comes on Netflix and just <laughs> my thoughts about season three. I mean, because I've seen, I have seen pictures. Of since season three, big ol' oof, <laughs> big ol' oof, like oh my god, what were you thinking? <laughs> like why? It's a good thing that this series is ending next week because someone's gonna spoil me on something, and I'm gonna be like, oh, that's fine, because I stopped re I mean, watching that manga <laughs> after season two. <laughs> So who knows? But yeah, going back to this. Do not kill my daughter, please. Just kill the doctor. The doctor need to go. He need to go. This season. But the end of the season. Please. He gotta go. He gotta go. Because seeing him last week pissed me off. Oh my god, please don't remember. Oh. Sorry about that.
Listen to your child. Why? Okay, I, I get that. But you can at least be a man. So you want Hebe to go with you? I just love the fact that this just so happens to be right where he begins. I mean, it could have been anywhere. I was like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah, we're looking for her father. Finally, let's go. <laughs> oh my god, why would you do? No, let me keep quiet. Let me keep quiet. <laughs> Cause I want to say I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till the end of the episode or maybe halfway. No, you're not. There's always one. Always one. I just really need him to go. Are you gonna kill him? Please? Just like Shinji's face. 
Thank you. So. So honestly, really, she has no use for you anymore. You can just go. I mean, it would have been better for him to get sliced, but I mean, that's a fucked up death, though, but still. Please tell me Carol is not going to take her dad. Motherfucker. She's only still gonna try. Oh my god. Even though she knows she knows that. Oh my god. Seriously? Because see, a couple of minutes ago, I was about to talk mad ish about her dad. Be like, well, he just cares about no one but himself. Like, he's just irritating comedy, but I like that. Even though her dad is still, you know, <laughs> shit, <laughs> but <laughs> he's redeeming. I think it's going to maybe take a little while for me to warm up to him again.
See, you would also think that everybody else would have gotten here by now, but no, no, no. We are literally still waiting for everyone else to get here. I get Kitty and Jinnabe are with Elf when they're trying to help her, but I mean, Chris? <laughs> Maria Tsubasa in the car driving? I mean, oh my god. But we know that's too easy. Like, I mean, come on. That's not going to be the last account. <laughs> this is a child we're talking about. Damn. She became... Mm-hmm. That Chris? Wait a minute, y'all. I mean, damn, y'all was in that car. Y'all was in the freaking log. Like, oh my god. I mean, I know y'all was going over the speed limit, but still. <laughs> Is she? She is, isn't she? I had a feeling, but I mean, it's it's that obvious. No, she's turning older. Yeah, this was this happened like what several episodes ago. I don't really remember. I mean, it's too many enemies that I'm watching. Okay, now, how in the world are y'all gonna defeat Windows? Because her thing looks like Windows. There's no way in hell at the point where these girls are, Hibiki and everyone else, are going to be able to defeat her like this. I mean, okay, I'm going to ask this. The bridal form that's in the game, is that going to pop up in this anime? Or does that just not exist? Because I can feel like that's the next thing that could possibly work, but who knows? I mean, seriously, listen to your girlfriend. Like, damn. But then, okay, how do we wait, wait? If you destroy the fortress, then her power should go down, right? So instead of focusing on her, maybe like half of the girls should focus on Carol. And, oh my god. Um, the other half focused on the fortress? Never mind.
I mean, honestly, if he does, this could bring his pride up. As a man, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm not even going to clap that as a cliffhanger because I mean that's not a cliffhanger if it was like here Here's a big secret, and then that, and then you got a little bit of cliffhanger. How the hell they going to face this girl? I mean, this is like how I, this woman child might be a hell of more problematic than Fina was. I mean, Fina was a problematic bitch, like you know, still liked her for what she was, but this girl, I mean. She takes the cake, and I cannot believe I'm going to say this, but she kind of reminds me of another certain lolly from the series who was mad at a bean because of the fact of a certain reason. She got reincarnated into World War II, and then she was just like, fuck it, I'm really pissed, and so I'm just going to take out all my anger of being X. And yeah, <laughs> Tanya, I mean... She really does. There's a little similarities between the both of them, but then there's still two completely different characters and the reasons on why they're doing what they've done. I get that, but just, I don't know, the psychotic side of Carol. I, and when I was looking at her, I was like, damn, you might be a lot more scary to me than Tanya was because Tanya, <laughs> we all know Tanya is like one of those characters that is, okay, hold on, wait. Mom? Are you fuck? Are you serious? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Hello, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Ain't you supposed to be dead? Hold the phone. Hold up. Stop. 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 She's supposed to be dead. She, we, I, I mean, I assumed, I assumed going into last season, into this season, and seeing her body, I was like, okay, she dead. She in space. Then we saw her come back down and saw her body. With, mm. What the hell is going on? How in the world is she alive? What y'all do? Are you, are you serious? Are you, <laughs> are you kidding me right now? N mm -mm. I need context, like, big ass context. You, you cannot, uh, thank God y'all ain't put that at the end of that episode before the credits, because I would have been floored. That's a cliffhanger right there. Oof, big oof. Oh my God, are you serious? Like, 
So, Mom, what have you been doing all this time? Like, oh, she better explain an episode. <laughs> she better explain in 12 because, bruh, <laughs> there is no, mm-mm. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. no. But going on to my, back to my thing, Tanya is a very, what I like to say, psychotic character. She's, like, literally one of the best characters in, like, many animes that I've seen. And now he does an amazing job as her. But, I mean, the shit that Tanya did. <laughs> it's, like, um, comparing the two, especially with what Carol is currently doing. To me, it's just child's play. What Carol is currently doing. Because, like, look at everything. Like, if you honestly really haven't seen Saga Tanya Evil, please go watch that show. It is phenomenal. And... <laughs> I mean, because, like, that made me, honestly, um, really just look at something, like, you, you would think a kid could never really do something like that, but because of the fact is this was a man reincarnated into a kid's body and such like that, and you would think that this little girl couldn't be able to do something, the, the thing that, the, the things that a fucking child can do, like, oh my god, but, I don't know. It's still, but that, 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 mom, like, mm. <laughs> so are you telling me, what is the commander, I, I don't know, 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 I really don't know, what if, like, the commander literally just uh, secretly has been, like, communicating to mom, and such, waiting for the right moment, I don't know, I'm scared, but I'm happy that the doctor is finally dead. Like, he was a nuisance of a character. I mean, seriously. He reminds me of the reason why I hate Shinji so much from Fate, because he's just so fucking annoying. I mean, well, you know, there's many reasons why I hate Shinji from Fate, but, like, I mean, he had that arrogance just as Shinji from you know, when you, the day he fucking died in the movie, which is the best thing ever. Same thing in the freaking TV show, it's still freaking written, and the rest of them had to save his fuck ass, but still, he could've just stayed dead and we would've been fine, but no, you had to save him. But, even though we didn't really necessarily see the doctor's death, because I'm gonna put it like that, um, do I, do I personally want to say that he's still alive? No. I really think he's dead, and I don't think he's coming back, but it's just now the question is, how in the world are they going to stop Carol? I mean, there's got to be something. So, I'm, I'm going to say the bride thing still, unless, <laughs> because there is an unless, unless there's something that's coming between episodes 12 and 13 that eventually the game, and specifically the gotcha will possibly have. It, it's gonna be something. I'm not sure what, but my money is on the bride. That's all. I'm glad that he because dad is getting the remorse that I really wanted him to get because I still have a love-hate relationship with him. And the fact that he's currently redeeming himself as of right now in this three-parter finale, it just makes me ha be very really hopeful for him in later seasons and that he is going to have that opportunity to bring his um, his family back together and to right his wrongs and to gain the trust of his family once again. I mean, I get it. The fact is you wanted to start with your daughter first and usually, typically, you would think the daughter is the hardest to get. It's usually sometimes between your child and then your wife and or husband, their family, which could be the grandmother or whoever, and then maybe even your family as well, because everybody has different opinions on this situation, but I know they're not going to show it, so big, 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 like, hopes and prayers to him, because I think he has a lot of redeeming qualities, just, like I said, it's going to even take me it's a little bit of time to still kind of warm up to him, because <laughs> still, I, I really just... I, I like him, but then at the same time, it's just, it's not more of a hate, it's more of a dislike until, but now he's, like, slowly chipped that, like, <laughs> like wall in my heart, and be like, yeah, I'm starting to like it a little bit, not a lot, but yeah. Go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 12. Okay, episode 12 in three, two, one, go.
seriously, mom, how? What the fuck? See? Okay, hold on. But then, okay, hold on, wait, wait. But then why didn't the fortress show up as Serena for Maria and then Mom for Shitabe and Kitty. That I think that would have been a little more like somewhat heartwarming because I think in a way Maria loves both Serena and her mom, and mom as much. But no, my kidding. Of your door at it. Oh my god, you cannot die, please. You've already died as a pig in one series. I don't want you to die. No, you've died in like two other shows that I've watched before this. And it hurt. <laughs> I can't see this child die again. In the end. It always goes back to her. Oh my god. Which is I mean, because they could still beat them without singing. Who knows? I know, right? Like, honestly, you need to still go. 
whether he's redeeming himself or not, he gotta go. <laughs> That's okay, I'm fine with that. I knew that was going to happen, too. I don't want her to fight mom, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> don't be stupid. Please don't. Even though y'all just told her this. See, okay, you know, you know what I thought she was gonna do. Like I said at the beginning, turn into Serena. But no, you can't give me that. I, I mean, I would have loved that. But still, the Phoenix situation is still her biggest fear. Losing Serena was possible was her number one until it happened. But the Phoenix situation has to still be her number one. Yeah, but you can't do this by yourself. You've always been together. So just let them stay with you. I'm just saying, okay, even though the doctor is now wanting to be good and help, are they literally going to put him in jail? I mean... That redeeming quality is still not working for me right now.
I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> Because imagine if they if they did Serena first, she probably wouldn't have been able to do it. Oh my god! But like, can we just talk about the? <laughs> just talking to everybody else. I'm like, why are you feel like you're saying goodbye? And you're gonna die? Huh? Please don't do that again. Like my heart, Jesus Christ! I don't need that. I swear to God, you already killed my other children. You just killed my three. Do not kill her, please. I she's already bleeding out, and I don't want this. She's too fucking impressive for this world. But in a way, he wanted you to be better than him. Oh, please, Amanda! You can't do that!
I'm just gonna say this. It's powerful, but it's not powerful enough. We know that now. I know that. Come on. It's so blatantly obvious. They're not gonna be able to defeat her, which is that. And the fact that Maria, Shiriba, and Kitty, they're now dead. So what? My daughter is dying. Slowly but surely. Oh my god, I can't. about to go into another season where my daughter is not going to be in it and I'm getting pissed. We got like what two, three, five minutes. Five minutes. What can you do in five minutes? Not even five, maybe even four. I didn't want him to die like this. That's not going to stop her, though. It's not. I already know it. Mm -mm.
what the hell did y'all just do? This is gonna be the game. It's gonna be the game. It's coming. That's why the bride things are there. They're like, hmm, we're gonna show these cute little things here, and then we're gonna show some angels. That's what they're gonna. It's coming. It's coming. Thank God. Oh my God. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. Why you do that? I know she's not dead. She, because of the fact that she's lost a lot of blood. She's knocked out. She's not dead. I'm not gonna cry. But still, just the way it looks. You think that that was her last moment and that she's gonna die, but we've still got one more freaking episode left before we're done. The gear is right there. They're gonna be in that game. They're gonna be in that game. If not now, there probably are. I could check, but I don't want to. The fight between Maria, Katie, and Shinobe versus Maria slash Serena later on was really good. But still, I will say, I think if they would have gone with Serena first and then herself, Maria would have been at a crossroads because it's her sister and she loves her sister that much. And even though that's not really her sister and that really was a mom, I think she would have hesitated a lot more than, you know, with it being herself. Like, just imagine if it was someone who you really cared about that you had to go against. Mm, yeah, and then, okay, let's talk about the doctor. Honestly, as I said, I don't, I didn't really like him. This episode kind of really changed my thing. He ended up being good, and then in the end, he still dies for it. He died doing something good, saving the world. And so that makes me kind of really change, kind of look at his character a little different. There are still times where I still dislike him, but I didn't want his death to be like that. I was like, if he didn't die, I think they would have given him a second chance to maybe, you know, go out, be free, do whatever what you want to do for your life, find your life purpose, whatever, if he truly would have survived. But I get the fact is, he was a character that was so developed in season two, getting into this season, that maybe they didn't really have that much. They still had a little more for him, but because of the fact is, he was coming, he was coming um, in the last few episodes, I had a really iffy feeling he was going to die. And that's why I was like, I was so pissed slash surprised that he was in it. And that now this episode is his final episode. But I think he did change his character and the way I look at him a lot more. Now with Carol. <laughs> the child and my child elf. I mean... There have been times looking at them, and because of the fact is, Elf is a copy of Carol. There were times where I was sitting here thinking, if Elf, I mean, not him, mm -mm. if Carol dies, would Elf immediately die? And this was running through the back of my head, like, I think for ever since episode one up until 10, because of the fact is, I don't know, because something I kept looking, because the fact is they're still from the same, you know, they're, they're like the same person. And so I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, if one dies, then the other one possibly is going to die as well. And seeing Elf, you know, losing blood, now officially knocked out or whatever, because of the fact that she should have just like straight up gone to go get treatment, I'm just saying. But... Elf is a little hard-headed child, and I love her so much. I just don't want anything to happen to her. Even though, like I said, in the, the feelings that I'm getting, she's going to be okay. Specifically with the fact is, like, the last time that I played, I did see her. I think it was, like, either for story-wise or for event-wise. Because I'm not... Uh, I'm still on season one on the game, because I haven't played it as much. But, like, when I played... Not this... The newest 
event, the previous event, she was mentioned and she had like a speaking role in it a little bit. And I was like, okay, you're fine. But uh, and I'm I'm taking my assumption on that. But honestly, really, who knows what's good, what could happen for her? So I, I'm like fifty out of fifty right here for her. Like fifty percent of me thinks that she is gonna die, and then the other half thinks that she's not gonna die. <clears throat> God, I hate when I do that. Um. And, um, she'll be, she'll be able to get more character development in the next two seasons. I don't know. I mean, now, let's talk about the other thing. <laughs> Maria, <laughs> Katie, and Shinobe supposedly dying. And then I'm thinking, no, we're okay. And then, next, like, I'm like, damn, we about to go in this last episode. And Katie, Shinobe, and Maria are now dead. And honestly, I was... I was going to be so upset. I was about to, like, end this review in the last episode. Be like, oh my god, this was so good. But you know what the most fucked up moment was? <laughs> Having three out of the six girls die and not being there for that final battle. But oh my god, you... <laughs> because... <laughs> I mean, you would think... That these six girls, no matter what, that they're because they're the main characters, and I and I can't believe I'm comparing this again um, to other animes and then to books that I've read. When there are main characters, the main characters are essentially the characters that, no matter what, they're the ones who don't get touched with death, except Yu Yu Hakusho for a second and this stupid Divergent series. Because if you've read the Divergent series, you know what happens to a certain character. Mm. <laughs> by the end of the last book um going into this series especially looking at all these girls and i'm thinking okay no one's gonna die we're never really gonna have a moment where any of these characters are gonna die and then getting into the like first half of this episode seeing these girls making their final moments with subasa chris and hibiki and me crying because i'm thinking like why are you saying this now? And then it clicked in my head. I'm like, they're about to fucking die. And I don't want this. And I'm like, let's let's just not do that. Anymore. Because at first I thought it was fake. I was like, no, they're doing this for a reason. They're okay. And then thinking about it, I was like, yep, these three are now fucking dead. And we only have three girls left. And I was like, they really just killed these girls off. Honestly. And now we're about to go into the next season without six girls. <laughs> we're just going back to three. And y you know how when you... It's almost like when you fall for a character so much and then they die and then you don't get to see them again and such. And then something mysteriously, miraculously happens really and you find out, no, they're not really dead. And then you're just over here like, oh my fucking God. Like, okay, basically how I felt when Archer died and Faye and then he comes back in the last fucking episode. But there was reason and such and, you know, going... <laughs> going on into the series and you're you're just sitting here and you're seeing freaking Emiya, freaking Shino like kick ass and it's like mm, I don't want you I want you <laughs> I'm so stupid <laughs> but seriously I mean damn like you're expecting one and then you get the other and you're just like do I really want this <laughs> but yeah I'm, I'm happy that they are okay I mean, thank God, because it would have been so weird not to have those three in this finale. But now the six of them are together. They're more powerful when the six of them are together. I mean, yes, on their own and divided in the groups of two or three. Yes, they're powerful. But the six of them together are, like, unstoppable as fuck. And they can literally do anything. Honestly. Okay. Go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys for the last episode. <laughs> okay. Final episode in three, two, one, go. Now, honestly, at this part, I was expecting this giant being of a goddess. To just descend the sound the heavens. Like, something out of Persona. I don't know why, but I was like, mm, okay, no, never mind. The write-ups are not going to be good for this. I already know it right now.
Yeah, that's what makes you a witch, though. Even though y'all don't know. All I see looking at them is rain up is a motherfucking lie. These girls are not coming home in the first three pulls, no matter what. Maybe. <laughs> And then, no, I also get, when you want a certain girl, and the other girl comes home, and you just be like, mm. because that happened. I wanted to boss and Levi, and then who comes home? Evie. <laughs> I like Evie. I don't like you. <laughs> I'm never going to live that down. Freaking gay moms, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the sort? A, a dragon? But wait, hold up, yeah, going back about the sword. Is that gonna show up in this episode? Because, I mean, the issue, the talk on that sword has been, like, poof, mysteriously disappeared, never came back. 
in the last episode of this season. Something needs to come back about it. I cannot believe I forgot about that until it's now. Yeah, but how are you going to defeat that lion thing? I mean, can you, even with how OP you guys are? No, she's fine. I mean, this is TVK we're talking about. Because you need to be stopped. You don't need to do this. Your father wouldn't have wanted this for you. He became what? <laughs> Please defeat Carol. Okay, do I see that making it in the game? Probably not. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. But still, right up is a lie. Right then and there. She ain't coming home on that full pool. On that first pool. No. No way in hell. You got good Wi-Fi? Mmm. Not with the way it is happening. Yeah, she is, like, literally too far gone.
So is Carol just going to be locked up for the rest of her life? I don't know how to feel about that. But then what about him? He had everybody else. Okay, they're fine. How, how in the world do you... And thank God. My child is okay. The only one who just always has food on her mind. Where are you going? Mm -hmm. Comes the girlfriend to control. Mm -hmm. Do not kill her, I swear to God. It's honestly good that she doesn't know who she is.
Do that again, please. <laughs> oh, my God. Almost made me have a heart attack, bro. Holy Jesus. Okay, Jesus, because oof, big oof, I can't just thank you, God. Mm, if that child, she technically died, but not really, because Carol died, but save her, like, for a moment, I was about to say, are, are we transferring Mana into, <laughs> into Owl? Like, mm, but I'm happy. I'm glad she did that, but oh my God, what the heck is going to happen next? I mean, Everybody's happy now. Who the heck is going to be the next villain? I mean, I don't know. With two seasons left, are these next two villains going to be as good as the past three? Because, I mean, who knows, honestly. But this was a really good season. I think I have to maybe say this was better than two. If I had to order it, like I think it would be three GX original than G. G was okay. G was a little iffy at times, but I still enjoyed it for what it was. But this like really expanded the lore a little bit more for me because I had so many questions going into this season and wondering about Carol and Al Elfin and everything. But it just the way it went, it was it was good. It was good. And I'm happy. Everything's fine. <sighs> Because honestly, she's the only one that's going to be able to bring her parents together. Mm -hmm. 
That's a good way to end it. There you go. We don't need anything else. This is the end of the series. That's it. We don't need to watch the next two seasons. I'm just kidding, though. But it was good. Really, really good. Just This was more about the father figures and the love of a father. And also just the effect on someone ha a father has on a child, whether it's a girl or a boy. And the fact is the kid has to deal with that for almost the rest of their life or until they possibly see them again. You never really know. But the consequences that um, specifically Carol saw with her father dying and everything and the revenge that the anger that she had and the revenge that she wanted to get on people in general, like, oh, God big oof like oh my god just this season was just so good and I honestly wonder how honestly these last two are going to top this season because it, it's just that good and honestly yeah it might have to be my favorite for it because it just it can, like each season has kept me on my toes but like this one hit very close to home at times really with the relationship of Phoebe and her dad and how you're looking at not only your relationship with a mom, but really more of your dad in a way. And such. But, I mean, yeah. It was good. I enjoyed it a lot. But now, I'm like, who the fuck is going to be this next villain? I mean, you go from Fine to the Doctor to Carol to what? I mean, I can imagine it could be a guy this time again. And then whoever, like, is in the last season, they're going to... You know what? The last person... In the last season, whoever the villain is, and I'm going to go ahead and say this now, and then when we get there, or if you want to, when this comes out on either Patreon or next week, um, somebody's going to be like, <laughs> I can say now, she might be the most, he or she, whoever it is in this last season, might be the most powerful villain that honestly could be a run for their money. And I don't know, I mean, whoever it is, because I haven't spoiled myself. I don't want to know who this last villain is. But if it's a she or a he, whoever it is, I mean, I don't know. They might take the cake for this series. <laughs> they, they could possibly maybe be the best villain for these girls. But I think as of right now, it's really between, for me, um, Fina and Carol are currently, like, best villains. The Doctor was okay. Shut up. Oh, my God. Um... The Doctor's okay, but I, I just feel like, mm, because I didn't like him as much, <laughs> he he kind of made me, like, it kind of like was like a little letdown. I don't know. It's just me. But I'm just hoping that these next two are just, like, top tier up in villains, because typically sometimes with villains, they can either make or break the show, and I'm not saying that it broke this show or this season entirely, it's just, you know, the Doctor is, like, the least favorite. Everybody else is like, yes, but yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the finale, or really the series overall, of Figure GX. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel, I make videos every single day, join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons, and next Thursday for everybody else for the specials. I'm guessing they're going to be at least the same length of the G special, so I'll probably just put them all in one video just to get it out of the way. And then after that, we'll start... Is it... AX something? Season 4. <laughs> Until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!